Hi! Today I'm going to be casting this little shell. So I'm going to be making a mold of this little shell and casting it in sterling silver. I'm going to be using this horizontal flask to do it. So we've got our flask. We're going to start by filling the male half first. Lip down, fill from behind. Talcum powder. With this shell, I don't want to put a sprue at the top here because that's where all that nice texture is. I want to put it in a spot that I'm not ruining any texture, which would be on the inside because it'd be quite smooth on the inside. So I'm going to have my sprue in here. You want to push it all the way in pretty much till it's flush with the clay. This design anyway, this design, this, this shell in this shape. Yep. And talcum powder that shell again. So I'm getting talcum powder in the deepest part of that, of the shell there. And that's to stop the clay from getting in there and caught and not being able to be pulled out properly. Put the lid on. Line up those registration marks. Loose crumbly clay first. Push it in with your fingers and then go for your big chunks. Gently get this out. Now we've got to do our sprue hole. I'm going to place it in here. I might do it on a bit of an angle. Might be, yeah. <laughs> Let's clean that up. Let's carve out that funnel. Clean it up, make sure that funnel and the sprue hole are nice and clean. Let's do air vent. We'll go to this side. Because we really want the metal to come in here and around that shell and out here. So we'll put the air vent there to draw that metal out. Because this shell isn't very thick, I need to make it thicker for the silver version because if it's too thin, the silver won't be able to cast. So we need to make it a little bit thicker so it will cast. So all I'm going to do is get that shell and push it in deeper into this side. go. Let's close that up and cast. I'm 
safety glasses on got my gas and oxygen turn my gas on ignite it introduce oxygen more gas and oxygen you keep doing this until you get a really hot flame super noisy angry forceful dominant hand on the crucible handle so they're always in control of the molten metal and start melting make sure it's super duper hot hold your torch on the metal for an extra 10 seconds just to really make sure it's as hot as it can be and bring it on over to your flask press it against the um rest the crucible against the lip of the flask focus your heat on the metal and that lip that you're about to pour from and you've got your crucible angled as if it's about to pour in but not quite and then when you think it's good and hot and ready, you're going to dump it down the hole really quickly. Just one, two, three, down the hatch. And you'll see that I didn't take the flame off it as I was pouring. I kept the flame on it, which was keeping the metal as hot as it can be. All right. Put your mask on because it's going to get a bit smoky. But let's open it up and have a look. Alright, didn't quite form. See on the side there, it didn't quite form. So that means I should have pushed that shell deeper into the clay. So I should have pushed that shell deeper into the sand to make the silver version a thicker version. So it looks like I was a little bit one-sided and I pushed it mostly deeper into this side and I didn't push it deep enough on the other side. I should have been a little bit more even. But you can see that by having the sprue on the inside of the shell, it preserves that beautiful texture on the outside. And I'd lop this off here and then get in there with some ball burrs to smooth it all out. Okay, so I decided to do it again um, so I could show you something that's completely cast. So all I did was everything exactly the same but push that shell just a little bit deeper into the clay so that we could get a thicker silver version. And that's fully cast. I've just got this lip here, this little seam, just a little bit of clean up on that. Otherwise, it's chopping off the sprue, ball burring out the inside. Oh. 